How is it going everybody? I'm Sam Lee, reading for writer Devin Rardin, and welcome to Gaming Instincts. After the official announcement of the Dead Space remake, the details are still somewhat scarce. We've scoured the internet to unveil a few facts about the anticipated game. So, without further ado, here are the top 5 details you need to know about the Dead Space remake. Number 5. Rebuilt from the ground up. The definition of a remake is blurry, fluctuating between similar terms like reboot and remaster. An important question in any reinterpretation is whether the game will change significantly or merely receive a new, prettier overall look. In the case of Dead Space, an IGN interview suggests that sound, gameplay, and visuals will be rebuilt from the ground up. First of all, Dead Space will utilize the Frostbite engine, famous for running the Battlefield and Madden games. Despite their stunning visuals, Frostbite has a reputation for being a difficult tool to use outside of an FPS context. As a result, EA Motive is prepared to overcome obstacles to make Dead Space look its best. To accomplish that, Motive must thoroughly rebuild everything, which includes reshooting the animations. Suffice it to say, the project is much more than a simple port or upgrade. Number 4. It's only on next gen. Most games release simultaneously on the old and new generation, making PS5 and Series X exclusives hard to come by. It was a bit shocking to see only the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC logos displayed after the Dead Space trailer. Sometimes, old software can damage a cross-generational game's quality, a problem Dead Space won't have to face. The remake will take full advantage of the new consoles and their built-in features. The most apparent advantage is a lack of loading due to the console's solid-state drives. The original Dead Space tried to keep players out of menus at all times. Upgrades and healing were done in-game, but it couldn't entirely accomplish this task. Loading screens often undermine the immersion, so the original version may finally be realized with this remake. Additionally, Dead Space will incorporate 3D audio so players can accurately determine the location of wailing necromorphs or closing doors. Number 3. There Won't Be Microtransactions Whereas Dead Space 1 and 2 were single-player adventures, Dead Space 3 included cooperative play. In the worst-case scenario, multiplayer inclusion breeds microtransactions, a system that heavily contributed to Dead Space 3's downfall. The spending of real-world money could not integrate into the Dead Space formula and ultimately felt like a greedy standard for EA games. EA Motive senior producer Phil Ducharme called Dead Space 3's microtransactions a mistake and promised it won't happen again. Interestingly enough, Ducharme was discussing several ill-viewed Dead Space mechanics but honed in on microtransactions as his primary example. It seems to be a disgusting feature even for game developers. Therefore, we can take his promise at face value. Besides, microtransactions always bring negative press and do not belong in a single player game experience. Number 2. It's made with fan feedback. Dead Space is an important and beloved franchise for many, many people, which puts a lot of pressure on EA Motive. They must revolutionize the game while pleasing a dedicated fan base who grew up with the claustrophobic horror adventure. The goal of Motive is to achieve success by obtaining fan feedback from the very beginning of the project. In most cases, fan feedback comes near a project's end, but Motive is allowing fan input to shape every part of the development process. According to an IGN interview, Motive picked community members to participate in a council that consistently provides feedback during development. The concept grew from a fear of ignoring fan desires with the final product. The council helps Motive stay in tune with their fan base and receive feedback in the midst of development. In most cases, developers don't receive feedback until the game launches or right before the testing phase. Hopefully, Motive's approach will minimize the need for patches and continued support after the launch. And finally, number one, the story will change. Okay, we'll dial it back. We don't want to get too hyperbolic. Dead Space will still receive the same overarching story, but a few minor adjustments will be made along the way. The Dead Space 1 story is the foundation that every upcoming game must adhere to in the developer's mind. With that said, Dead Space 2 and 3 introduce new concepts that were not fleshed out in the original. Motive will reshape some story elements to create a more cohesive experience free of plot holes. The developers continue to praise the original story, only changing it to reference or expound on a later concept. This will always be a welcome addition that only remakes can do with a comprehensive view of the overarching story. We've discussed changes to the Dead Space formula, but at the same time, we're confident Motive can keep everything that made Dead Space great. Near the end of the launch trailer, the phrase, cut off their limbs, is plastered on the wall with blood. A shot to the face won't stop an angry necromorph. It must be completely decimated. This invokes a gameplay mechanic of shooting off limbs to slow or limit the enemy's attacks. Dead Space's limb-cutting feature is its most iconic, and Motive is definitely leaning into it. The trailer showed off striking visuals and also gave us a bloody message. In essence, it told fans that, yes, Dead Space will be different, but we'll never lose the concepts that made it unique. And this has been Gaming Instincts. The full article is linked in the description below, and if you want to check out other awesome articles, head on over to our website at GamingInstincts.com. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and newsletter to stay up to date on all that gaming news. Thanks for watching. 
This has been Sam Lee, and until next time.